Good morning, and welcome to Wednesday's Word, February 16th, 2011. I'm Father Richard Aguilar, and we are the Episcopal Church in Miami Lakes, Florida. More on Black History An outspoken person was W.E.B. Du Bois. Du Bois was born soon after the Civil War and died in 1963, the day before Dr. Martin Luther King Jr.'s I Have a Dream speech. Du Bois was the first African American to receive a PhD at Harvard. Du Bois was able to witness change, profound change during the 20th century, for the better. Over 100 years ago, Dr. Du Bois said, the problem of the 20th century is the problem of the color line. In many respects, the problem of the 21st century in America is the problems of color lines which infect and damage our society. In this infection, persons from different races and cultures are disdained, destroyed, discriminated by whomever is more powerful. The power of God says no to this kind of power. The power of God says no to human beings hurting other human beings. The power of God says no to division, isolation, separation. The power of God protects us from evil and provides us with the good. The power of God leads us to light, life, and love in the name of Jesus Christ. The power of God gives us covenant to dwell in justice, peace, equality, and community for all. You and I, who live in the 21st century, are urged to use this power of God. Let us employ the power of God, such as Frederick Douglass, Rosa Parks, and others who were powerful for the good. May we be powerful for the good. May we be instruments of justice. May we be bearers of peace. May we stand for equality. May we be builders of community. Know that we may count on the power of God Know that Jesus stands for us and with us. Know that the light of Christ shines and when we see what is good and pleasant before the Lord. Amen.